Hello everyone, it's been a long week. If you don't know, lightning struck my house and fried like everything. Thankfully, I have gotten a replacement for almost everything, insurance paid for half of it, but the result is I have not slept well in like five days and am exhausted. I'm catching up on sleep now that uh, our AC is fixed and I can finally sleep in my actual bed, but you might notice the bottom half of my face is blurred. The reason is I can't find my mask and I can't be bothered to stand up to go find it. So, um, this is a video of me, I, I got a new computer and it has a freaking RTX 3070 Ti in it. I found an amazing deal at Micro Center, it's like $1.2,000. Is it a lot of money? Yeah, yes, it's a lot of money, but for what I paid for my last computer, th this is not this is not a lot of money for a, well, such a big upgrade. For those of you who are computer nerds like me, it has an i7 12th gen and a 3070 Ti. If you, For those of you who aren't computer nerds, that's a that's a that's a big and very expensive computer. I got an HP Envy, and while I don't really like HP entirely, they're a pretty good manufacturer. And I got it on Micro Center for one thousand two hundred dollars. I think the sale is still going, so if I somehow manage to get this video out by July thirty first, yeah, go go see if you can buy that because that's it's actually an insane deal. Most of these kinds of computers go for like three, two or three thousand dollars, two and a half thousand. Seriously, go buy it. Anyways, that's why the bottom. I, I'm so tired and lazy, so like I don't make a lot of jokes in this video. I'm gonna be honest. It's just me breaking my computer. How far can I push it? What games can I play? I played like Portal RTX. I played Forza Horizon 4 on all ultra settings. Like I tried everything. And spoiler alert, I I couldn't break it. But uh, if you just want to see me my, me mess around on different games, there are some funny bits. And I'm gonna leave a little uh, a little thing at the end of me playing. Actually, wait, no, I might save that for a different video. I played a Half-Life for a little bit, and I, I edited it, so I might, like, make a little five-minute video out of that. That'd be cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm quite tired, so uh, I just needed a, an easy video to make, and um, so go check check it out. Thank you. Bye. I'm running about 24 render distance, and while it's a bit stuttery, I'll be honest, it, it we're running about 90 FPS, about. It, it takes up a lot of my GPU, it seems like, but yeah, no, it looks, it looks like it's doing fine. <laughs> By the way, the 24 render distance is vanilla render distance. It is, of course, using sodium and stuff. All right, so I'm using now a mod called Bobby, which allows for like an artificial uh, render distance that's kind of, that isn't faked, but allows for a much larger distance. For instance, I can set the max render distance to 128. We can set it to 128. Now, this will probably destroy my computer, but I'm going to try and play it. Again, this is while I'm recording and on my own world, not even a server, and oh my god, it worked. A casual 100 or so FPS while doing this, and it's not even stuttering. This is impressive. Again, Bobby allows for, like, even my old computer to do stuff like this, but on its own world with shaders, my computer would literally be melting. This one's fans are barely even on. Without shaders, of course, it runs even better. Uh, at, you know, let's say a casual, like, 130 FPS. Now I am going to real quick turn on NVIDIA's performance because it allows me to see absolutely everything. So according to NVIDIA, I'm getting roughly 90 to 100 to 256 frames per second. And according to Minecraft, I'm getting about 240. Um, this is with 128 render distance. That's a lot of, this is a lot of chunks. Safe to say it is smooth and working fine. So I believe population crash render distance is about 12 by default. I think Bobby can increase it, but it works kind of weird on servers. So it's not going to be quite like this. So to give an idea of what it's going to be like on population craft, just running normally as I usually do, we're getting about 900 FPS here. Um, just on average like this. So I think we are quite good with playing Minecraft from now on. Minecraft Bedrock might be a different story because RTX is using actual ray tracing this time. Something that is very taxing, and doing this while recording is probably going to blow my thing up, but let's find out. So I am accordingly getting about 60 FPS as we as we speak. This is while recording and doing this all on ray tracing. Damn, this looks cool. I'll never forget. I tried this, of course, earlier, so this isn't like a live reaction, but it, I still is mind-boggling. Keep in mind, my computer is currently real-time rendering this entire world all these reflections i mean the ground is reflected on top of the water just how insane is this this boggles my mind how realistic this looks i mean look how realistic that looks that's insane you can even see the little air pockets are which are technically unrealistic are actually really cool looking 
My FPS is dropping a bit here, down to like 55-ish, which is understandable because of that. Look at every- see, this is really cool. It looks like it's kind of flat, as it would in real life. But when you go under, it's ju it's insane. One of my favorite effects is what happens right here. It has... Yeah. And it reflects both on your arm and on you in-game. It's just insane. The lighting in this game is... This blows my mind. I've always wanted to try RTX, and I never thought I would be able to. In fact, I thought if I ever were to be able to, I'd play it on an RTX 2060 at best, not a 3070 Ti. I... Look how beautiful this is. And just so you know, you can actually do this in a normal world as well. With yeah, a bit more stuttery this time, but still about 60 FPS on average. This is a bit hard to do because Minecraft natively won't let you just play Minecraft like this. You actually have to find the texture pack within the files of Minecraft Bedrock and paste it to global so that you can actually run it anywhere. But at the moment, my computer is currently capable of running RTX anywhere I go, including servers. So I might even try this on the Population Craft server eventually to try and get some cinematic shots. Minecraft Bedrock is probably one of my least favorite games to play entirely. But the RTX on this is definitely going to be bringing me back to this frequently. This is just insane. Alright, here we are loading up Portal RTX. Honestly, a really cool game. Portal is one of my favorite games of all time, and playing it in RTX is honestly insane to do. Now granted, I'm not seeing an FPS counter anymore, it's just not showing up for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. So, I got the performance overlay working, but it just doesn't seem to be functioning as a uh as it should and showing me what the what the fps is now this is honestly really cool and it just seems to be running quite fine even if we don't know the exact numbers but but this is full ray tracing every all the lighting in this game is ray traced and functioning so while it looks insane and i am recording shut up shut up shut up Ray tracing is perfect for this game, and it is fully ray traced. Everything in this is ray traced. It's incredible. Also, kind of taxing, especially when trying to record it. But the fact that I can do that does mean that I want to make a video on Portal RTX eventually fully playing through the game. So, uh, I'm excited for that. But for now, we should probably move on to the next thing. We're causing problems. <laughs> Holy f it works! 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 <laughs> All right, Beat Saber is a much easier game to run and play. It does take. It is going to be a bit laggy because of the uh, the Wi-Fi, and that's why I suck so much at it. But the game, act, the, the computer should run it fine. Yeah, it runs pretty well. I'm going to try the ultimate song. My mother better not be watching me. I was last time I was sweating of fear. Now I'm sweating of excitement. That doesn't that doesn't sound right. A gamer exercising. Oh my god! It's a miracle from God. Oh frick. Okay, so this is a game I've always wanted to try and like really play well. Cause my uh, my last one could play it pretty well, but not perfectly. It's running smooth as heck, but like that only lasts so long. Here, that star. Travel. My retinas. For those of you who don't know what this game is, it's literally a universe simulator. It simulates all of the all of the universe, everything in it. I definitely want to play it at some point. Cause never got around to it on uh, beforehand. This is a, this is one and a half thousand light years per second. It's pretty fast. It's very fast, but uh, it's faster than anyone could theoretically travel. Thankfully, human constraints don't apply to me. Well, it's safe to say this game runs amazing. We'll have to come back to it in VR at some point, but there's no problem running it. <laughs> they added music, which is new, which sounds pretty cool. So Forza Horizon 4 is currently running on Ultra. It is not the newest driving Forza game, but it is one of it is the one I have. And they're like 70 bucks, so I am not paying that much for a Forza Horizon 5 video. I think 5 has ray tracing and stuff built in, but I am unaware if uh, if, uh, if 4 has that. But it does have reflections, and they look dang good. Ow! Dang it, I wasn't looking. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, no. Turn around when it is safe to do so. 
Look, my kill count is almost as high as my FPS in this game. I'm moving on. This has to be illegal. It's, a, it's about to be. Oh my god, I made that turn. This thing has some amazing handling. You're probably wondering how I got here. Too bad, because I'm not going to tell you. Sorry, this car isn't made for uh, this style, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to destroy your, your lovely little thing. Up, 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 up. I, I accidentally put it in reverse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oh man, this is really going to suck for you guys, you know. Oh, an expensive wall, too. I bet you guys, guys just got that in. I'm so sorry. Oh, and all this shrubbery back here, too. It's a terrible view. I am so sorry that that happened to you. Uh, anyways, I gotta move on. I got a thing to do. It is a miracle I am this famous. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like the Justin Bieber of the car world. I feel like they should give you a couple seconds before they just throw you in there, but alright. I lost, but they acted like I won. If only my speed were as high as my frame rate, I might actually win. Thanks, bro. You're helping me. You helped me turn there. I don't think you, you meant it, though. Suckers slowing down when you're supposed to. First rule of, of racing, never slow down when I'm in the race. Holy crap, it worked. There we go. I am far better at sprints than I am anything else. Which is kind of ironic considering the fact that I can't really sprint in real life. Or do any physical activity for that matter.